back to another video. Today's video is about Antonio Brown and his suspension. He will have a six game suspension, but you're like, oh, that's not that bad, right? But he's still under investigation still for another thing. So therefore he can play and all after the six game suspension, but he could earn more sus he can earn another suspension basically on top of that for the other investigation and all of that so that's basically what is up with um him and it, Pete Carroll in an interview press conference thing said he would like to have Antonio Brown but, also, do they want to risk it? Sure, they've had troublemakers in the past come in there, and they've turned them around. But can they do it with Antonio Brown? Maybe. He's 32 years old. He's still in his prime. And you could definitely make the argument he Seattle needs him more. So let's have the debate. Does Seattle need Antonio Brown more than the other team, the Baltimore Ravens? Well, let's look at it this way. The Baltimore Ravens, sure, it would definitely help their passing game. But they don't need him as much as Seattle does. And like, so Antonio goes, Antonio Brown goes there, who's to say he's gonna make, he's gonna get himself into trouble again, which he does everywhere. He could do, still do that in Seattle, but Seattle's the better fit for him because they know, they take their chances on these guys, they turn them around, they make them stop getting in trouble. So he would make the better fit. And he really could be the third. He should be the third receiver guy on that team. Because I don't really like Philip Dorsett. Philip Dorsett here is. Eh. He's not the best. He changed his number I think from 13 to 11. But that's besides the point. But anyways, it's just like, Antonio Brown would be better in Seattle. Do they need him more? Yes. Does Baltimore need him more than Seattle? No. Because they've got Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson can run. He's like a running back, just that quarterback position. But it would really help Russell Wilson. And if they do get him, I say they're a Super Bowl team. Now, do I think the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are? Maybe. With Tom Brady and Gronk, maybe. Sure, he's been doing well in practice, right? But we need to see this on the field. But also the same thing with Seattle. Can Seattle um, do it? And plus, basically what um, Baltimore has done is their, their offense isn't really fit for... They haven't really changed it so it's for Lamar Jackson. Basically, all they're going to be, most of the time, Lamar Jackson's going to be running. So what's the point if you have Antonio Brown when you're not going to pass to him almost every play? Where, where it's like Seattle, yeah, they do run a lot, but they have said, there's been rumors that they want to, they're going to do the passing game more. They're going to let Russell Wilson throw it more. So, that's the thing here. What is going to happen? He's a better fit in Seattle. Now, don't get me wrong here. 
Antonio Brown would be good in Baltimore. But for that to happen, they're going to need to pass more than have Lamar Jackson run. That's basically what they need. That's basically the debate here. This is why I think. Comment down below what you guys think. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.